Matt Canada's offense, the year that it worked, it took advantage with all that window dressing of bad college football players, guys who weren't even going to sniff the pros being out of position, going east-west. Guess what? In the NFL, everyone's a pro and everyone's good. Not just good, great. You can't run pop gun nonsense and expect it to work. At no time has Matt Canada's offense ever been shown to work against really high-level competition week in and week and out. There, but there's only one reason why he's here, and that's Tomlin. I, well, that gets back to my original point. You were willing Mike Tomlin to hire a defensive mind who would probably outshine you in the minds of many of your fans and maybe people around the league. Maybe you had multiple motivations, but you said that it was because he was just so damn good. Hire somebody like that on offense. You're Mike Tomlin. People want to work for you, I would presume. I don't think they would right now because what I'm seeing is a, is a head coach, although he is an offensive coordinator who's in over his head and he's not qualified to be an NFL offensive coordinator, he's so restrictive. Chris, this is the offense that he wants. You heard at no point really after the game yesterday or today anything close to an, an admission that maybe they did play things too close to the vest and were too conservative. That's not how he feels. He wanted a slog. He wanted a low-scoring game, and he probably feels like, well, it was a one-possession game. That's exactly what we bargained for and wanted. And there were just, he said it again today. There were just two or three plays that didn't go our way. He blamed Witherspoon for not breaking up that Aguilar pass. He blamed Gunnar Olszewski. He didn't blame his offense because this is the offense he wants.